Now, let's create the first panel. And because we have a multi-number of steps, I can create that within this button, which is the bottom left-hand corner. It says Add Multi Walls. And I will click on it, and it shows up two choices. We can, the first choice is Add Multi Panels by entering Start and End Height. Or we can also choose elevation specifications or specified in, uh, and I will show you that on a lay, on the second wall that we create. So first area we're going to click on is that first area. When we open up this, the options to create this panel, we have a couple of selections that we can choose. We can choose three different types of soils. A 27 degree, which is a poor, silty, low plasticity uh, clays. And we have a 30 degree soil, which is silty sand. And then we have a 34 degree soil, which is a well graded gravel, which is really good material. And usually, and this will be, this is very similar to what the NCMA systems do use. And what we'll do is we'll just leave it on the 27 degree soils. Just leave it as that. The next area that we can choose is a case study. The case on the wall is either flat on top and bottom, there's, or there's a three, and a three to one slope on top. That's case B. Case C is 100 PS, PS, uh, pounds per square foot of per, uh, surcharge, which is typical of a driveway. And case D is 250 pounds uh, pressure of square foot pressure on the top of surcharge, which is typical of a roadway. So we can choose either one of these. What we'll do is we'll just leave it at the at the indicated um, case A. It's flat on top, and we can change these also within the wall as we go through from panel to panel, if all of a sudden the case just does change by different areas in the, in the wall, we can change that as, as we go along the calculation. Now, the next thing is wall length. And what we'll do is we look at the drawings, and it says that this panel is going to be 12 feet long. So what we'll do is we can Click on this, and it will go to 12 feet. Your metric should change as well within that. Now, because we're starting, and you can see the drawing here, you have a, a drawing that has a wall that is flat in the bottom and steps on top. Or you can choose where a drawing is flat on top and the elevation changes in the bottom. And I'm going to select the elevation change flat on top, elevation change in the bottom. Now my first panel, as I look down on the, on the wall, a 12 foot wall length, is going to be 1.5 feet tall, which is three rows. And I'm going to click on that. So now I've changed that area. Next thing I'm going to go is what's my end of wall, and I can change that, and it's going to be five feet at that area. So that is going to be 10 rows, and I'll click on that. And the base up and down is not something I'm going to play with right now because my first panel is going to always be at zero. And I can say OK, and I will click OK, and in pops the walls that I've just created. So now you can see that we've created these walls all the way through this, the details. The only thing is that I really don't want this, this panel or this panel. So what I'm going to do, I'm just showing you how to delete a panel. This is panel 9. I'll click on panel 8, and those two panels now have been highlighted inside this, this ex, uh, existing wall panels, and I can delete 
only deleted check panels. I can uncheck these panels, and I can check all panels and delete everything, but I'll just delete these two, and I say yes, and I can literally delete those panels, and now I've got what I want. The one thing I'm going to also do is click on this panel, and that's my sample panel, and I'm just going to delete that and so that we have actually our first area of the wall. And as you can see, on your wall estimate calculator, the front view, this is what we needed. There are six panels starting at zero, and the bottom wall is minus five, which means that it is two and a half feet below the elevation that we started our first panel at. As you highlight across each, each one of the panels, it will give you the length and some of the information that's within each panel. As you can see, panel number two is different, and each one is different from the other one. 